Hi, this is a solid state relay and uh, the wiring connection is so 0 volt 24 volt so DC to, to activate this relay and this side is power side here, here is your light one and uh, from, from the point 2 number 2 is going to a heater for example if you have a one heater it's going to there and the other side is connected to your neutron and uh, there is another one this is a normal finder relay and it has a a1 a2 this is a 0 volt and 24 volt on this side and it has a 1 2 3 4 pole now the most bottom is the common these are the common side and this is normally open normally closed so let's suppose if you if you put the wire there l1 l2 l3 neutral so that is your normally open so you can take out the connection from from there this is normally closed actually now the question is why we need the solid state relay and uh, if we can use this relay so and even this has only one it's one uh, i mean if you are using a three phase if this this heater is a three phase then you need a three solid state relay because this one relay can handle only one phase as you can see here is a light one and this is going out so actually for the three phase heater you need a three relays to to control all each phase and uh, for this relay you can only use one relay by doing the same thing but now for example if you have a one tank suppose it's a water tank and you are using this heater to to warm up the water and uh, you are using a PID control to, to control a water temperature and uh, let's suppose you want to you you put the set point for a 50 degree 50 degree centigrade water temperature and the PID control is gonna give it the pulse all the time whenever the water reach on 50 degree it will stop but as the water start going down like a 48 degree centigrade or 40 degree centigrade then the will start giving the pulse to keep up the prayer keep up the temperature and in this situation if you use this relay for the PID control this relay will burn very quickly because when this this will operate on off on off all the time now this thing has inside a mechanical links when you when we energize this relay there is inside a one strip that that touch with the other one but if this relay is operating all the time on off on off it, it won't last longer so for this situation therefore we use this solid state relay by using this there is no any problem because there is no any mechanical parts or movement parts it's just a solid so therefore therefore we use solid state relay